Hi, welcome back. Over the last five weeks we've been looking at forward drive and developing a good forward stroke technique. Now we're going to come back to forward drive later on, but now that we have a good forward stroke technique and the boat's moving forward efficiently, it's time to start developing uh, some skills that we can use in white water. And the first one of those that we're going to look at is going to be carving. So it's really important that we develop the ability to carve the boat, because on the river, all the water doesn't just move downstream like this, it actually turns in some places and goes back upstream. We call these eddies. What this creates is eddy lines in between, and to get across the eddy line, we're going to need to use a carve. We also have places where the river splits into two. They come back together. We can call these braids. And when they come back together, we get a, what we call a seam line. And again, we need to use carving to cross the seam line or the eddy line without flipping upside down and to stay in control. So one of the most fundamental parts to carving the kayak is putting the kayak on its edge or on its side and holding this edge really steady as we paddle. So we're going to do this in two videos and for this first one we're going to go to a flat water location where we've got a dock or a low jetty that we can hold on to. So the aim is to learn how to edge and practice holding the edge nice and steady. So you can place your paddle on the side of the dock, place both hands out in front of you, twist at your torso to face the dock with both hands. As you do this, you'll feel your belly button pull towards the dock, and this creates a tension in our body that naturally makes the outside knee lift. When this outside knee contacts the plastic in the kayak, it will pull one side of the boat up, and as long as you hold that twist in your body, you will hold the edge. Practice holding the edge nice and still here, and then flatten the boat off. If you're edging correctly, you'll also feel a crunch in your side, on the side that's away from the dock, because this is what's holding your body upright, rather than leaning out to the side. If we lean out to the side instead, what happens is our center of gravity moves away from our base of support and we feel like we're going to fall in. So let's make sure that we're crunching on one side to hold our body above the kayak. This way we're balanced. So now that you've figured out how to edge the boat, I want you to try three levels of edge. We've got level one, which is just a small amount of edge. Level two, which is more edge where the boat will sit quite comfortably on its secondary stability. And to get to level three, that's a little bit further, you really need to force the edge up by twisting nice and hard and crunching up on one side. And if you feel like you're going to fall in, you've got the dock there to grab onto. Make sure that you try both sides. Spend plenty of time on each level of edge so that you're comfortable on level one, two, and three. Once you're comfortable holding all three edges nice and still and under control, what I'd like you to do is rotate your body to hold level two edge. Then, while holding that edge nice and still, I want you to twist just your upper half back square again. Maintain the squeeze in your lower half so that the edge stays nice and still. Then, you can start moving your arms forward and back as if you are paddling. We're trying to train ourselves to hold an edge and paddle at the same time. So to recap edging, we edge by first rotating, pulling our belly button to the inside. As we do this, this creates tension and we can easily pull one knee up on the outside and this makes the boat edge. As we're doing this, we're going to feel the outside of our waist is crunching to hold our body centered over the boat and keep control. If we don't have this crunch, you end up leaning and falling in. So we've got rotation, knee up, and a crunch. You'll feel this is a really good workout, and over the next week, every time you paddle, we're going to start with this as a warm-up drill, and we're going to develop level one, two, and three edge control. Later on, we're going to use this edge control while we're paddling. Good luck. Let me know how you get on.